Yo, what the fuck is up? We are here with another uh, episode of Stories Untold. We played the first three, and now let's play this one. Hey! I think that's enough of that for now. Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck is this? You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Show? Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Okay. Oh! Okay. This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. Just in here. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. Uh... Okay. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. Yo, what's up, my jits? This is subject... 12-19-86-23, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander, leading, and in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic mm. and it couldn't terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay, 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 I okay. Know how this must okay. Be, but you can do this. James. Yeah. It's time to remember. Your mind. It's like a conscious seizure warning. Body. Show you your memories. Look into it. Oh. What the hell? In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily, encouraging you to wake. Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything really to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610 FM. You can't miss it. And this is where the bushes start. <laughs> this is where the bushes starts. Breathe, keep going. You have to read what they said. Give up, you count. Oh. Sometimes, sometimes you do things. Uh, sometimes those things are wrong. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Read what they said. What? Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Our oh, daughter closed. Oh my god, I was get about I was about to get pissed. Okay, stories untold. Stories I could finish this one. There we go. Wait, do I have to match it with the line? Line one, line two. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Code word report. This is twenty F twelve nineteen eighty six twenty three zero four. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is twenty F twelve nineteen eighty six. 2304 Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F 12 19 86 2304 Oh my god, I'm so confused. Seventy FM, okay. It's not like at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband, he was fine. No way he caused this. It's him. This the door slams shut, plunging you into darkness. A life flickers on. What the hell? Oh, can I walk now? Oh, I can walk. This doesn't make sense to you.
You step out into the hospital war, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. <gasps> oh, this is when I was in the hospital. This certain feels like an emergency. Uh, what the fuck? Sounds like they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. What the fuck was that? Okay. Oh, I could come in here. Oh, keys. You grab the keys from the table, they weigh heavy in your hand. Oh, can I lock this? Oh, I could come in. Finally, something a little different, man. This game is cool, but at the same time, it's like, you know? Especially the forest area, I was like, what the hell am I doing? You, you only caught a glimpse of the room, you guess that's why there's no detail here. You spent most waking moments in here. The only video they have some horror compilation trash. What? The house abandoned. That one was dope as hell. <gasps> Maybe the intro. Another door you've never opened. You don't know what was in there. Maybe the intro is going to happen right now. The waiting area is dark, but you feel a presence right behind you. Close that door, dude. Ah, you look. Someone breathes on your neck, standing over you. What? Oh. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Okay, oh. we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Come on, 100 joules. Charge amp full to 10. Come on. On the screen, please. Oh, uh, mm -mm. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. What am I doing? Oh, maybe this. Charging up full to ten. Okay, so we got that. What else are we supposed to do? This? Jewels, charging up full to ten. 
Hmm. Dude, this shit is so confusing, man. Press the big green button on the sync master. Increase the signal generator up to 10, 200. Come on, 100 joules. Charging up full to 10. See what I'm doing. Get this on the screen now. Jewels charging up full to ten. Clear. No reaction <laughs> from first stage. Let's try higher. Two hundred jewels. You got the amp charged ten. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Two hundred jewels. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. Nice air. Clear. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. Come on, 360, hurry. Clear. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Oh, this thing. I did it? What? Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Switch on a drill, please. The drill, please. Mr. Asian, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. We need you to stay calm and try to relax while we go through the next step. Ah! We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Oh, oh that! Oh my God! What the fuck, dude? The house abandoned. Not only is tonight New Year's Eve, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mom, Dad, and your sister Jennifer had decided to throw a party to celebrate it. Oh, the house is full. You're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize a soul. Oh my god. Okay. He pushed through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have put a great big banner up across the main wall. 
half finished drinks are abandoned and almost every horizontal surface stairs let up although this party is firmly downstairs okay they say all the best parties are in the kitchen the kitchen is full of people and loud there are drinks and food on the table and the party is in full swing dad has cooked a hog roast which sits proudly on the table although no one is eating it Mmm, okay. He pushed through, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug. You're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party and she asks if you are enjoying the party. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're about, we're about to get some riz, man. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway and to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. It's a drink. You pour Jen a drink and one for yourself. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has questions. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. The big trip? What's the big trip? Uh, if you have everything, okay. You tell her yes. That, yeah, packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family have really gone out their way to make this trip happen for you. It might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Press enter to continue. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left, in, you're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. First, a drink. Uh, 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 uh. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys. Selling, selling to floor racks, a collector, although he does actually drink them too. There is a bottle with a ribbon round it and a cord. Okay. So dad left us something. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting son. We're so proud of, of you. And everything you've achieved, you've earned this. It's a bottle of 25 year old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Oh. Uh, with your whiskey in your hand, uh, you take in the room around, uh, around, but you, there must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drink in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. You head back into the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. You go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through. And you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen covered in blood. What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't understand. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> uh what the 
what the fuck? Uh oh. What? I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. Wait, am I Jen? James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. You're standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks while searching your mind. Your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Okay. You sure your keys are in the living room? The living room has much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests are sat on the chairs, having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is pouring a drink at the at the drinks cabinet. One of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Uh, okay. Search coats. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Ah, ha, ha. car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Hey, let's go. and hand you head back into the hall and thanks you for helping her out she has work in the morning and no one else is in any fit to stay to drive you can handle it though you know the roll like the back of your hands uh oh <laughs> now that does not sound like a smart idea <laughs> you open the front door and walk into the freezing night the cold air hits you. You're glad you have your jackets with you. There is the dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits at the front of the house. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Fumbling with the car keys, you eventually get the door open and climb inside. The car is freezing as you fumble around with your seatbelt. Your sister opens up the car glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. Uh. Oh, no. Okay, so read the note. The note is from your dad and reads hi son hope you enjoy your break you'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on also found something in the attic for you it's in your room enjoy what this is this is like the beginning of the the fucking game the car is freezing both you and jen have your seatbelts on and are ready to go it takes a number of times, but you eventually slap, slot the key into the ignition. Okay. You turn the key in the ignition and the car roars to life. Okay, release.
Oh my god, they're a mess spell or something? Release the break. You you very hesitantly release the handbrake. You put the car in gear and pull out the driveway like it's the first time driver. You really shouldn't. You, I, am driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays. Jen started going off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction. Is it left or right? You can't remember. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. A sinister turn. She grunts and throws her arm to the left. It's left. Of course, left. The left? Uh, go left. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you are on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. What the hell? Jen sits up in her, in her chair and clutches your arm. She asks you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened to it. it. You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is hitting in your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slow, like slow motion. Uh oh. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside James, joins. Sake, the inside, the whole world around you begins to scream. Intro, yeah. I knew it. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Uh oh. Show us what you did. Uh oh. You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity, trying to ho hold you in your seat. An impact into another car has torn to a hole in the uh, cases, poisonous fumes spill in. Your car from the engine, you are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Remove seat belt. You release yourself from the seat. Gravity takes over as you slump on the uh, roof of the car. Oh my god, this is getting so much more intense. What about Jen? Help Jen. You can't do anything for her right now. You need to help yourself. What? Okay. All right. <laughs> you squeeze through the wreckage and fall in onto your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. Your head is throbbing. A blue car has smashed into the passenger slide of your car. Your life cannot be ruined by this. You're standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance. Oh shit. Well that's not smart thinking James is that they will eventually find it there and will link it to you. Hmm. I whiskey. Well, that's not. Hey, what? With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the show. Of the sirens you simply cannot go to jail for this you clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey you then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents on the driver and you toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat 
Oh my goodness, this guy is fucking crazy. A circle of flashing lights around you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness behind them. An army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Go to the silhouettes. Did this game so much better than the last one? Sorry, you're not making any sense. What? Um, as you approach the man, the pulsating lights around you get dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. You, you fall mean, into the ground. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. <gasps> that accident, that poor man, me. You have to remember. It was all your fault. Mm. I know what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. What the fuck? Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. No! Never. If it's all unfamiliar, somehow. Listen to yourself. Doctor Alexander is also watching remotely. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. All of your episodes were recorded to tape. This is. Episode you're having must come to an end. What? Make it stop, make it Why does stop. it keep doing that? Remember. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Oh, am I looking at that? Let's get you back to your shows. Then say not so long. <sighs> as irritating as this was, this is cool. Hey, I finally finished it, man. This is this is dope. This was dope. It literally took me a year to finish it. <laughs> bye bye.